Well, after a long week, we are ready to kick off our shoes and do something that makes us smile. You know who makes me smile? Who, Alex? Mrs. Grant from 94.9 Mix FM, who joins us today. Me too. Oh, you guys <laughs> make me smile. <laughs> you know what else makes me smile? What? It's Friday. Oh. I know, you look so happy. <laughs> I am so extremely happy because, number one, the weather is going to be fantastic all weekend long. I mean, including today. My goodness, how gorgeous is it outside today? Can't wait to go outside again. I want to sneak outside and have a little picnic for lunch. Ooh. But before we do that, let's talk about all the cool things that are happening. So, Pima County Fair opened last night, opened yesterday, goes on for 10 days, meaning that it'll be all this weekend, all next week. And then the following weekend, it won't end until Sunday. So that is pretty cool. They have so many great things. I know Spring Fling was here last mm -hmm. week and everything. But the thing about the Pima County Fair is they have more food. They have more midway games. They have all of the animal exhibits. You know, the 4-H kids go out there and they do their animal exhibits. They also do baking and stuff like that. And then they have it all on display and it gets judged and everything. They've got a petting zoo out there. I went out one year and there was a petting zoo that also included sea lions. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I am not kidding. You know what? It feels like it gets bigger every single year. It really it feels does. Like it. And that's funny because when I was a kid, that's what I actually remember about the fair was the animal area. Right. So I'd always yeah. like drag my mom, come on. She's like, don't you want to do the rides? And I was like, no, I want to see the animals. <laughs> I have animals exactly. here. Exactly. Yeah. So it's great. The hours, if you haven't been yet, it's going to vary depending on the day. So I would definitely check out PimaCountyFair.com. But it's out at the fairgrounds on South Houghton Road. The other thing is, once you get in for the admission, all like the concerts and stuff come with the price of admission. So Saturday, Jack Russell's Great White is going to be in concert. Dokken is going to be in concert. Cool. Uh, Sebastian Bach and Jackal. So those are, that's just Saturday what's going to be on the performance stage there. So I think that's great. You can really go early in the morning and then just like stay the whole day and oh, yeah. night and, and just completely have a great time. Get really Absolutely. If you don't bring take your care sunscreen. of yourself. <laughs> yeah, please bring sunscreen. Don't say Mrs. Grant told you not to do that. <laughs> okay. Um, Ben's Bells. Yes, Obviously we, we do them. the kindness thing with Ben's Bells and they do something also called the Celebration of Kindness and it is their biggest fundraiser event of the year. It supports all their uh, kindness education programs that they do like in the local schools and things like that. Mm -hmm. Have you seen any of these mosaic benches that they do? Yeah, they're beautiful. Yes. With the lovely tiles and they're stuff. They're gorgeous. So the only place that you can get your hands on one of these is at this particular event. They do it in the silent auction, and they also do it in the live auction. They um, have those signature mosaic benches. They also do food and drink and live music and obviously the live and the silent auction. And it's tomorrow night. From six to ten, my buddy Bobby is going to be hosting. Awesome. So that'll be very. <laughs> such a nice. I love Ben's Bells. Such a nice hub yes. of, of well yeah. kindness. That's and their it's thing. Downtown at their studio, and if you've never been there, that is beautiful in and of itself. So that's Take one of those. Take a tour things. of that. Yeah. Yes. It's a pretty busy weekend, kind of all around. There's another fundraiser at the U of A, isn't there? There is. It is the fifth annual Rockin' for Rhett. If you know anybody who has Rhett syndrome. I'm telling you, this is such a worthwhile thing. And you hear about fundraisers and things, and you go, okay, well, they're going to do a 5K run. Well, it's not just a 5K run. So they do the 5K run. They also have a kid's fun run. So if you want to do something a little more family friendly, you can do that. They do live music. They have steel drums. By the way, talk Love about that. things that make you happy and smile. I cannot listen to steel drums without being happy and yeah. excited. They Mrs. just have this. I was feel. in the U of A steel band. I want you to know I played lead. <laughs> So you made me happy <laughs> several times in my yes. lifetime because I just love the sound of steel drums. It's They're the coolest sound. You play yes. I what did. You do? <laughs> I'm a music nerd, my friend. <laughs> I, love I love it. I love steel drums. So you can get steel drums at the fifth annual Rockin' for Rat fundraiser. It's at the U of A. Um, they also have a silent auction. The very cool part is registration's 8 a.m. The race actually doesn't start until 9 a.m., okay. which is really good because often it's much earlier than yep, that. Yep, you can mm -hmm. sleep in just a little bit. Exactly. Well, exactly. Last weekend I was at the Rioto Park. Now we've changed it up and we have something new come this weekend. Right? right, so you must have been there for the end of the horse races. I was there for the last day. <laughs> that yeah. is very cool. It was really cool. cool. Great so place. 
Something else that's very cool is the third, they call it Viva La Loca Food Festival. And so it is all about, and they only do this twice a year. It's a fundraiser, nonprofit heirloom farmer's market. They have over 70 farmer's market vendors, 26 local restaurants. It's all about promoting local food production and just amazing for you to be able to walk around and get food from the local vendors there yeah. and check out the restaurants who are using the local food. It's just, it's so important to have something like this in our community Absolutely. and to, you know, be able to eat stuff from <laughs> our, well, exactly, it makes yeah. all the difference in the world. Usually, I, and I bet a lot of people don't know how much we really have here that's grown local. Well, and that's it's exactly true. it, yeah. Well, we're almost out of time, but we can't, okay. we can't miss Cyclovia. No, we cannot because this is something that's going to go on on Sunday. It's from 10 to 3. They change the start and the end usually. And so this year, it's going to start in South Tucson. It's going to end in downtown Tucson. They take you through all kinds of historic neighborhoods and stuff. They have all these activities for you to do along the way. And then when you get down there, there's a free uh, rock climbing wall and everything downtown. So you can participate in there if you get there about 10 because it's going to take a while. It's five a, or excuse me, four and a half miles. And it's just oh, kind wow. of a cruise huh. along with your family and friends. That's and so, cool. so much happening this no weekend. No motorized vehicles. <laughs> okay, no motorized vehicles. Good okay. to know. Well, Mrs. Grant, always a pleasure to have you on. Thanks, Thank you, Mrs. Thank you so much for joining fun. us. And make sure you tune in to the Morning Mix every weekday morning on 94.9 Mix FM, Tucson's at work station. For more information, just head over to mixfm.com. Also, we would be glad to mention your event during the next Que Pasa segment. Just send us a message on our Facebook page and we may mention it on the show.